one of the many questions I get when I'm talking to individuals or couples about the dodo egg option is that they're concerned that uh, the egg is sort of, from an individual standpoint, it's not for me, it's someone else's egg. Uh, and uh, what I try to emphasize uh, in a very general way is that at the basic level of DNA, we are all fundamentally similar. In other words, if you take the DNA out of a cell and you look at it and analyze it, you're not going to find a huge difference between all the various peoples living on the planet. Our DNA is so similar that, of course, we can successfully interbreed. Uh, therefore, the naked DNA is very basic to all of humanity. In fact, it's one of the few things that keep, keeps us together as humans. But above that is a level of control and uh, with what is to be referred to as epigenetics. Um, and that's the most important part about um, an individual is the way in which during fetal development in the uterus, the mother's environment um, impacts the epigenetic control of the genes that are available um, from the early stages of embryo development. The other thing is, of course, for successful pregnancy, you need crosstalk between the lining of the womb and the embryo. That's obviously the lining of the womb belongs to the mother. Uh, and then eventually the implantation process leading to the development of the placenta, then is the communication between the maternal circulation and the fetal circulations. And it is the mother that supplies all the nutrients. It is the mother that supplies the oxygen uh, to the fetus. So the in utero environment is fundamentally important uh, and the gene regulatory networks are fundamental to the development of the fetus. And of course, they are under the control of the mother. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on that is maternal in origin even though at the basic DNA level, uh, it is not uh, the mother's egg. But never underestimate all the other processes.